and today we are talking about the master view, more specifically how the master view affects how sequences are rendered. Now I think this is an important topic to understand in order for you to get the results you're expecting whether you're importing a sequence or creating your own. So we're going to get started by creating a uh, new sequence here. We'll just do a simple animation. And as you can see right now we're currently in our master view. When we first start a new sequence of X lights, it populates the master view with all the elements that are in our layout. Now the important thing to remember about the master view is that is the view that controls how a sequence is rendered. So what it will do, it will start at the top of the master view and work its way down through the list, you know, rendering each uh, group or as we get lower towards the bottom, individual prop at a time. So in this case, window-u2 would be the last thing that gets rendered in this layout. All right, so let's uh, let's try to do a little example to demonstrate this. So we'll, uh, we're going to place a bars effect on this vertical group here. And we'll go ahead and we'll up the palette rapid cycle so we can see it, what's going on a little bit better. And we'll also place that same effect, same bars effect, on the this horizontal halves group. And we'll just change its direction from up to left here. And now we'll take everybody's favorite effect, right? The butterfly effect. We'll put it on the all group. And so you can probably already see what is happening here. Okay. The butterfly effect. It's now displayed on top of those bars effects that are in the horizontals and the verticals because it is lower in the master view. And since they share the same pixels, the all group is overriding it. So how can we fix that? Because that's not how we want it to operate. Well, one way we can do is we can go ahead and edit our master view. And actually, let me uh, go back and show you how to Pull that window up. See so if we right click down here, we can pull up Edit Display Elements. And that's one way to get this window up. The second way is with this little icon up here. They both do the same thing. Okay. So now we can edit the order of our master. So if I take this all group and I drag it up to the top, above. now we can see that the all group is above the other two. So if we re render the sequence, there we go. And now you can see we're getting the result that we expected because the butterfly effect is being rendered first because it's higher in the render order and then the bars effect is being rendered later. We can now see our bars effect on top of our whole house effect, which is sequences of what typically we want. We want the ability to be able to put a base effect on a larger element and then overwrite it with effects on smaller groups or individual props. Now I want to demonstrate an, an issue that can come up with the master view, just uh, so you guys know what to expect here. If I create a head and create another new sequence, again, just a simple animation. You can see we're back in our master view, but it's back in that original order. It didn't even take changes we made. So how do we go about fixing this? We do that by going into this display elements. Um, there's, there's several layouts in here, um, but remember the master is the only one that controls. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new one. Now just call this ordered master view. Click OK, and then we'll click these double arrows here, and that's going to move everything over to our new ordered master view view. And then if we right click over here, we can go to sort. And we want the third one down. It's by name, but groups it top by size. And what this is, is this is going to sort our new view we've just created by putting groups at the top and individual elements at the bottom. And they're sorted sort of by pixel size, which groups have the most. And it gets us pretty close, but I have these two specific groups. You can see they have last in their name. And these groups, I want it to be at the very end of my view. Okay, so I'm just going to move these down here, this all last group. I click those double arrows and it drops that all the way down. And we'll do the same thing with the all last group. And now we're pretty close to where uh, it needs to be, but there's a few changes I'm going to make here. I'm going to move some of these all groups up more towards the top. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just deciding which groups are more likely to have a background effects that I'm going to want to 
be rendered first and make sure other groups that it might render up top are going to be below them. And I think we're pretty close here, at least for this uh, tutorial demonstration. Um, so now what we need to do, you can see we're still in ordered master view, and that's matching the list. And if I scroll down in our list of views and just make that active, what we're going to do is we're going to click Make Master. What that does is that closes this order that we had over to the master view. So now the master view matches that new, um, new view that we created, our ordered view. Okay, but well, let me show you one more problem. We're going to start a new sequence. We're going to do another animation. And there, our old friend Master View shows up, but it's back in that original order. So now we would have to go in here. We have to make our ordered Master View active and click Make Master to get it back. Okay. But it's a bit of a pain, and there's an easier way to fix this. You want to go into File here. Go into your Preferences. Go into the Sequence tab. And there's this new thing they've added somewhat recently. It's default view for new sequences. And you're going to set that to that view you've made. Okay. So now watch what happens when you make a new sequence. Same thing, another animation. Okay, look, it populates our ordered master view. Okay. But when we switch over to master view, it's already cloned it from our ordered view. So now... Every time we start a new sequence, we're in the order that we like. It's a consistent order, and we're going to get the results we expect. Well, that finishes up everything I wanted to discuss today. Hope you guys learned a little something about the master view, the render order. Hope you find this helpful. And as always, thank you for watching.